Oh, never mind. Run around. I've got the shotgun. Oh, up the top. Boom! Oh, that was a good time. I enjoyed that. I jumped off the rock, got above him, put the barrel of my shotgun right between his eyes, and pulled the body trigger. G'day, guys. My name's Josh. You can call me Zawoodle, and welcome to a brand new game that I am super duper keen to be finally getting my hot little hands on. Welcome to the Outer Worlds. This is a game that I've had my eye on for a while because it looks absolutely freaking incredible, and it's made by the same people who made Fallout New Vegas, which is a small little game you may have heard of in passing here or there. It's that, that, that kind of same kind of feel, that RPG element, that exploratory awesomeness that I loved about Fallout, but in space and with a whole new take on that whole thing. So I'm so keen to be getting into it. But before I do, a massive thank you to Private Division for sending me a key so I could play this and get the video out to you guys as quickly as possible. There is also an affiliate link, so if you want to get a discount on the game, which last time I checked was like 10%. I'm not sure what that it's going to be going forward, but it was last time I had a look. So you can use that link, get it a bit cheaper and get into it straight away. But with all that said, I can't hold back anymore. I've been so keen to so waiting for this moment for so long. Let's uh, boost the brightness just a little bit. Just 50% just to make the content a little bit brighter so we can all see what is going on. Uh, new game. Let's go. Uh, use this mode if you enjoy storyline uh, more than combat. Normal, hard, or supernova. Wow, that's a lot of extra stuff in the supernova mode. Let's not do that because I am not great at first person shooters, as any of you who've watched me before would be well aware. Let's just let's just go normal. Let's just experience this the way it was designed to be. Let's just dive straight in and see what this is all about without getting shot in the face every five seconds. Ah, here comes the character creation part where I have to make some decisions, which is not good for me. I am not th that level of adult yet. I cannot be trusted to make decisions. I am not that responsible. So <laughs> I'm just gonna have to choose some stuff at random. The worst part about this is all my decisions like carry over for the rest of the game. So it's like, it's very important you don't screw this up too badly, which means I'm going to ruin it and I'm going to make it very difficult for me down the track. But I feel like uh, I should try and go as far away from actual me as possible. Let's turn up my charm and my temperament. Let's try and make myself, you know, a little bit like, you know, more personable seeing as I'm going into a whole new world. I did kind of skip over the opening cutscene, which wasn't really much. I was just talking about how there's a colony ship with a whole bunch of uh, of colonists that are currently in cryosleep. That's really all you miss. Not much else there, but we'll get. I'm sure we'll get more of that a little bit later on. Uh, what else? I mean, what else? I've got a couple more points. Why don't I just put a point into everything? Why don't I just make myself good across the board? That works for me. Uh, e is next. All right, what have I got in here? Points available in here too. Uh, hmm. See this? Oh, oh, I can make myself a better liar. Oh, I like lying. Lying seems fun. That's how you get more cookies out of the cookie jar. Let's go. Let's let's go lying. How do I how do I up my lying? I've got two points available. Let me up my lying. Just gonna go my dialogue tree and my range I mean, tree. That seems about right to me. What, oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. Am I supposed to know what I'm supposed to be doing here? <laughs> For goodness sake, could I get a manual to me? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm just running around in circles trying to figure out what's going on like a chook with its head cut off. What am I supposed to do? I can't ever imagine a time in my life where I'd want to spend the time going through like my eye horizontal size and my nose size and tilt and that kind of stuff. There's so many options. I mean, I like, I'm sure there's people out there who love the options to spend more time in character creation than anything else. But look, I can make my eyes purple. So that, that that's, that's fine for me. That, that's enough to get me uh, satisfied and immersed in the game. Uh, can I get my stupid hairstyle? That looks reasonable. There's probably a better one. There we go. That's close enough. Hair color. Can I make, give myself purple hair too? Let's just make everything purple because why not? My entire life is purple. Let's make me purple too. There we go. That looks near enough and good enough to me. Let's not spend too much time here. My name is Ja Woodle. I say it every time. There we go. And next. Yep. No, okay. There's all my summaries for those of you who want to see all the stats. That's what I'm going with. Let's go next. Let's get into the game. I assume old Manny Patini here, who's a fugitive from the company who's flying me out, to is uh, going to wake me up. Head. And that's going to be me in that little pod. We're finally into the game. We're finally on the ground, able to move and jump and breathe and look. And the game is gorgeous, actually. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I've moved three feet out of my capsule. So there's a lot of cutscenes that start this game. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of exposition, which you need to know. Uh, I, I'm not going to put it all in because otherwise it'd be a 20 minute long episode of just cutscenes. But essentially, you are a colonist who was uh, who was frozen on a ship called Hope. And then that ship got lost, got knocked out of space and has been drifting for the last 70 years. So 
Well, everyone thinks you're dead, and all the colonists you were with are dead. But old Manny Patani up there, Phineas, uh, woke you up, and now you're working for him to try and find the chemicals to try and wake up the other colonists. Make sense? Yes? Good. Okay, he sent you down here uh, to hopefully come and help out this guy, but uh, it turns out that uh, he had a little bit, a little small case of the squashies, and he's not really going to be much help anymore, but he has left me a ship somewhere, so I'm going to leave him to just rot underneath my little, uh, well, my little drop pod over there like I was an ODST, and now we get to do the tutorial. Space to jump over stuff, C to crouch things, I assume, or control? Oh, yep, control, okay, yep, oh, there's, little, there's little lizards! Oh, it's adorable, but also I also think motion blur and shit is on it. I need to fix that. Motion blur is never a good thing. I never ever want motion blur. Motion blur is off. Everything else is just on very high. Good, good, good. Ah, that's a bit better. Just it doesn't doesn't feel right when you're looking at stuff and things are like moving around like you're looking through some goggles that are filled with liquid. It's not a good time for anyone. Can I can I play with you? Can I it's like a like a cross between a mouse and a lizard. It's an interesting looking little bastard. Look at him. He's kind of adorable. I kind of want one. Can I get him to just like live on my shoulder? Can he be my new best friend? Can he be my pet? Uh, all right, left shift to sprint. All basic controls so far. Makes sense. Ooh. Oh, well, I mean, I just learned how to sprint, but I don't think you're going to be doing any sprinting anytime soon. You've, um, was it the little green, like, like mousy lizard things? Did they eat your legs off? You've seen some better days, buddy. Marauder Thug, I will take your drugs off you. Don't mind me. Can I take your food as well? Nope, all right, never mind. Can I get one of these lizards and bang it on the fire? Look, I just came down from cryosleep. I'm sure I'm pretty hungry right now. And you guys look pretty bad. Yep, my cursor lights up red when I get close. And you've got gigantic teeth. Uh, well, it's time we go this way. Oh, wait, well, I was I supposed to creep? Your awareness meters are... Oh, okay. I think I was supposed to do that quietly and sneakily, but I don't think I managed to do that. Can I, can I, ah, can I get this guy's body? Can I get up there? Does he have something good? I want to explore. I want to loot. I want to raid. I don't think it's going to let me up there. I don't think that's a part of the world that I can go and visit. All right, never mind. I'll keep on going this way then. Yep, crouch through there. Are those things with the gigantic teeth going to come and insert them into me? I'd very much rather if they didn't, uh, they'll be... I mean, I can hear stuff. I'm sure they're in this cave somewhere just waiting for me to let my guard down. And then I'll come and... Oh, oh it's one of the... Wait, are you one of the little guys? You're a sprat. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, oh, flashbacks. Oh, no more flashbacks. Uh oh. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. God, it's like in Halo Three when you're having like all like the uh, like the those those images, those like hallucinations of Cortana. It's like that going on. I want a pet sprat. Look at him. If though, I mean, I don't like the big sprats, but the little sprats are adorable. Ah, well, <laughs> you have low health. I fell 10 meters. I guess that's actually kind of a big drop, actually, in fitness. So 10 meters, it told me to, and I broke my freaking ankles. I have low health now. Although, my health is like three quarters and going up if I'm, if I'm judging by the top of the screen, right? Uh, anything else in here? Ooh, there's a cash. Hopefully some weapons. And a dude? Guard Pelham. You. Come here. Dude, do you know what's going on out there? Like, shit is cooked out there. You're down here just, like, chilling out? All right, I'll be right there. No, those are explosive barrels. All right, what's up, Pelham? You've what have you got for me? Now. now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Uh, sit still, I'll patch you up. Medical five. Uh, all right, let's, well, let's just try that one. I have no training in medicine Looks whatsoever, like but fuck it. I sit still. Work. I'll try and you stitch you together. You'll come out looking like some, report. like, weird creation Spacer's from some choice. monster's lab, like but whatever. You'll stop bleeding. Uh, duh, 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 duh. how are you feeling? What happened to you? What, what happened to you? Tell me what. Out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Hmm, rookie. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. So, you left all your friends, you, you, first of all, you went up there, you freaked out, and you shot yourself. Good job there, buddy. Then you panicked, ran inside a cave, left all your friends to die out there. I assume you had friends, and now you're just sitting in here bleeding out. Luckily, I came along, and with my super awesome, not even trained medical skills, self-taught medicine, self-taught Doctorino, I came in and patched it up. Well, aren't you a lucky son of a bitch? I put all my points into persuasion and lying. So this guy's telling me that like all the barrels are explosive. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Thank you for telling me that one. I can either persuade him to give me his gun. I can lie. Someone grabbed the ship illegally. I'll hunt him down for you. Uh, you're an idiot. Give me the gun before you get yourself killed. Well, uh, let's go. Let's go persuade. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. I don't. You got some spare ammo. But like, I do more than you. You shot yourself, you muppet. Here, you can have my saber too. Oh. For patching me up and all. 
All right, All sick. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Are you a robot? Yes, nailed at that time. Are you, you're, you're, you're doing all sorts of weird stuff. Uh, do you know anything about the hope? So the hope is the ship that I rode in on. Uh, can you tell me where I am? All right, I'm going to go through these, uh, these conversation lines and then I'll go, I'll, I'll come back to you guys after I leave this conversation. I need to know the backstory before I go running off into a gunfight somewhere. Emerald veil. I feel like this guy's probably going to die when I explode these barrels. That's okay. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh. That would have been way better. Damn, why couldn't some shotgun come over and just like decapitate him or something? It would be hilarious seeing as he's basically a robot trying to sell me whatever junk he's got going on lately. Take that and take that. Some little things go blue that I can pick up. To, to, eh, eh. Okay, get, there you go. Get in. What, what are this? Pick up dehydrated water tablets. Dehydrated water tablets. How does that work? If you dehydrate water, is it actually water anymore? Because to make something hydrated again, you add water to it. What? That's that's all sorts of good. I mean, sure, okay, whatever. Let's just let's not ask too many questions here. I've just come out across. Like, I'm sure I'm misremembering stuff. Maybe water doesn't act the same way in this universe. Maybe I'm just lost my marbles. Ooh, a sprat though. I want to shoot the sprat. <laughs> okay, it, that counts as an enemy. Is that like I don't know? Now that I've shot one sprat, does that mean that they all hate me? I don't know. Can I kill some more? Can, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. At least my shooting is on on par though. I'm shooting little lizard things. I'm, ah, not more of this crap. Leave me alone. Ah, uh, I get it. So this like hallucination thing is actually just like my brain rendering time at a different level. So it's like bullet time essentially. Tactical time dilation. Uh, very limited time in its mode setting still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacking drains it faster. Makes sense. I have tactical bullet time. Gotcha. No whackers, big knackers. Oh, Marauder Vandal, incoherent grumbling. Okay, okay, I getcha, I getcha. Can I just go, can I go sell shots? I get bonuses for sell shots? No, I just, I just woke him up. He got shot in the head and that woke him up. How does that work? Oh, bullet time. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's wicked. Oh, that's wicked. He lost his noggin. I'm about to lose my noggin too. The game is gorgeous and it's fun too. What, what could you want? I'm already in like 20 minutes in. I'm having a great time. Oh, there was explosive barrels right next to him. Well, I feel like I um I may have lost that opportunity then. Take all of his gubbins. Well, did you have gubbins for me too, buddy? No, nah, nothing. You have a new item. View it in your inventory. Oh, God. Well, I hate it when... I mean, I know it makes sense to have inventory being I, but I'd much rather inventory be tab. It's just kind of my automatic reaction. Light pistol, space destroys 100 damage per second. What are you? Still 100 damage per second. Can I, can I, can I dual wield? Is that a thing? Oh, there's my saber. So what have we got? Okay, we've got one... We got two, and we got three. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna go stab some Jeffrey. Screw gunplay. Let's go stabby play. There's another Marauder down there. I'm hiding in the bushes. It's kind of see-through right now, so I hope that means that I'm I'm nice and hidden. I don't know. I'm gonna try to sneak up on him, going full Assassin's Creed. It's Assassin's Creed Fallout Edition. Easy does it. Yep, just creep on through. Now, can I like take down this guy or something? Is there like an insta-kill option I could do? Oh, come on, do it a little bit faster. No, nah, nothing. <laughs> All right, I'll just stab the back of the head then. If I can't, if I can't take him down, I'll just slice and dice. Oh, until that happens. Oh, slow it down. Yep, there we go. Kill him, kill him, please. That's better. There's one other muppet over here, but if I hide over here, maybe he won't see me. Can I be super stealthy? I did find like this big, like a uh, big staff as well. Can I use this? Can I bonk some muppets on the head? Just like cruise around here. Oh no, he saw me. I mean, the way he did you see me—that's bullshit. Do you have this Oculus bloody uh, uh, bullet time thing as well? If you do, that's horseshit. Not all hacks. I don't know what the point of having this saber is then. If I can't if I can't sneak up on a Muppet and just like shove this through the back of his skull, then I'm not sure why I'd want to use that as opposed to a gun that I can feel I can do much more damage much more quickly with. Well, I guess I guess if shit goes real wrong, I can pull out the saber and just start slashing and hoping for the best. If I take off a couple of limbs before I die, I'll count that as a success. God, though, this game is beautiful, though. It's, it's really pretty. It's taking me back to the good old like original fall, uh, Fallout days, and that is not a bad thing at all. I'm loving it. Are these some of my friends? I mean, there's a bunch of people cruising around here. Uh, there's marauders and stuff. Dude, do you guys know there was a whole bunch of them, like, just up the cliff there? How are you guys heading out in the open and no one's come to piss you off yet? What up, knackers? How you doing? Got anything good for me? Oh, yeah, no, thanks. Thanks for warning me about that. It's not like I just fought my way through four of them. I'm going to try and go with either persuade or lie as much as I can. I'm going to lie through my teeth as much as possible. Criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. 
It's time I am right. Cross those marauders off. Find whoever owns that ship and file a full report. Yes. And it's gonna be fucking laminated. Oh yeah, you laminate that paperwork, baby. You get that nice and crisp. Nothing better than a fresh lamb job. Oh, I mean, look, they, they can just go out there and do it all themselves. Oh, 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 I can aim down the sights as well. Didn't do that before. Probably should have. I was just hit firing like a mop. I'm using a pistol from like 100 meters as well. Probably not great. Oh. Yep, yeah, okay. Do, do they have anything good for me though? Like a better gun or anything that's better than this stupid little like pop cap thing I'm rolling around with? I found myself a helmet. So after spending all that time getting my hair all purple and flippy and good, I'm now going to cover it all up by, yep, putting a big bandage around my head. I'm now a mummy with two green, uh, blue lines. No, not green, or oh, green and blue, I guess. Two green lines for eyes. Makes sense. Sure, whatever. Why not? What, what else have we got here? Anything else? Uh, that's my that's my combustibles and consumables and all that kind of stuff. You're good, good, good. Don't really care. I've got three pistols though. Uh, oh, Q to break down. Okay, I just saw that down the bottom there. All right, let's let's start breaking down some weapons. Get some weapons parts. I don't need more than one pistol, I don't think. Although, uh, that's there. Can I can I repair? Can I re can I repair you? Bring you down. No, get. I forgot to say. Can I not do it because I'm holding it? Is that what's going on? Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, how do I repair you? Can I repair you? You've got a little like uh, wrench symbol next to you, so maybe you need to be repaired. Maybe I shouldn't have broken down those other guns. So, as no surprise to anyone who's played Fallout or anything like that, there's a whole lot of dialogue you got to go through. The Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. All right. Cheers, knackers. Uh, so, yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot of stuff you've got to go through. And one of those things is finding better weapons, which is shut up, Ada. For God's sake, Ada is like the AI of the ship, which is now mine, by the way. I've been renamed to Captain Hawthorne, which is the guy who was turned into like a puddle of red underneath my escape pod before. So I am now him, so the ship will actually listen to me. Uh, I want my inventory. Uh... Yes, accept. Okay, that's fine. What, oh, damn, I should have read that. That was auto repair. I needed that one. I probably should have paid attention to it. Probably need to do it through the uh, through the, the workbench that's in front of me. So let's go into here. Uh, use workbench. I've got some weapons parts. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you. I want to install mod. How do I? I just want to. I just want to repair my gun. That's all I want to do. So there's a full like repair menu, but the pistol's at 92%. So I'm not sure why I would bother with that. My my saber's at 97, and my shotgun's at five. Okay, well let's uh let's repair the shotgun then. That seems like a better idea. Since you want to use that at all available opportunities. All right, is that going to be better for me now? Uh, inventory, shotgun. Oh yes, ready to go and blow away some bad boys with this big stick. Uh, anything else around here I can use? I need to go find... So my current quest, now that Ada has actually like, taken a liking to me... Can I get up the ladder? Oh, yep, I have to press E to climb. That just makes sense. I have to go to the nearby town and try and find a new power supply for my ship. Because apparently it's broken and, you know, you need a quest to do to at some point. New you, try out our respecification machine. Ah. Alex installed it himself. All right. Cool. Before he died. Uh, no, what are you talking about? I'm Alex though, remember? I am your captain. I am the person. Until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. That's what I just said. So maybe I'll find a new power replace, uh, uh, replacement power regulator if I can say the words right. Can I just like jump off there? There we go. Ah, I forgot. You don't to break your ankle from that. Come on. What are your ankles made out of? Glass? Get some bloody bandages. Strap yourself up and try and brace yourself next time you're up. Remember before when I was saying that I needed a manual for my own body? It's, it's really getting to that point because there's so much extra stuff. You've got all of your skills. You've got all of like your perks now as well. There's just stuff all over the gaff that you've got to try and figure out what's going to be the best for you. Uh, sometimes you're the only person you can trust. That's okay. You deal increased damage when adventuring alone. Well, I quite often run off by myself. That seems like a pretty good idea, but I need to read all of these things to make sure I'm choosing the right one. Once again, choosing stuff is very scary for me. I'm not responsible enough to trust myself. This, uh, I've got to choose the wrong thing and everyone's going to get mad at me. Good to know there's another perk in this for Pack Mule. Just like in seven days, I've got to upgrade my ability to carry ship. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go to the Lone Wolf one for now, but there's also some other stuff in here that's kind of got me excited about it. Like this one, uh, I've some unsanctioned adjustments. The workbench sight alignment tool is more accurate. I saw like maybe there's, maybe there's some better stuff in the, to be found in the workbench. I'm sure I'll find it later. Lone Wolf, I'll take that one for now. Uh, that will be, uh, lost, wait, back, no. Okay, uh, save that one. Uh, you will be unable to undo all point allocations. Yes, accept, that is fine. Something in the journal needs to be done as well. Yep, cool, cool, cool. All right, that's enough for now. Let's get out of this goddamn ship. Let's go find the settlement. Let's go find some power. I want to go flying. I want to fly my new spaceship. Why do I have to like run around when I've got a brand new ship to explore with? So this map is trying to find me for Old Bait Hawthorne ship being here. But I guess now it's my ship, so I guess I've got to pay the fine. But I can tell I don't have a job. I patched up a friend, but she said before that that was a bad thing. So that's not going to work. 
I could lie to her, say I'm a Starship Safety Inspector, or I could try and attack her. Now, I did just get a shotgun, and there's only two of them, so I feel like that might be a fun little option. Let's, uh, let's try and blow them away. I don't feel like paying a parking ticket. I feel like murdering you instead. <laughs> Missed. Oh, oh, I've got this one. Boom! Right in the noggin. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. You're f Wait, how did you survive that? You survived the first one. You didn't survive the second one, though. Oh, never mind. Run around. I've got the shotgun. Oh, up the top. Boom! Oh, that was a good time. I enjoyed that. I jumped off the rock, got above him, put the barrel of my shotgun right between his eyes, and pulled the bloody trigger. Oh, man. I do not regret my, uh, my choices. That was a fun time. Got some better armor out of that as well, which is always good. Look at me. I'm all I mean, I, I kind of like the blue. I uh, was not really blue at all. I've got hoses hanging off me left, right, and center. So not particularly good at uh, either keeping oxygen in or keeping me safe and everything. So this one, yeah, that looks a bit better. Look at that. So look, I chose the murder option, and I feel like it worked out for me in the end. I mean, like the, the whole point of this game is you can choose you know, what, your decisions, what, you're gonna, what you want to do. I usually try and be the good guy, but today I feel like being the evil guy. I'm the bad guy. Duh. Do, 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 do. Oh, I hate myself for doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? Before, I would have come in here and tried to go a little bit slower. But if I'm going to be doing stuff like this, I may as well just cruise around with the shotgun and just ruin some jets. Oh, I missed the shot, though. It's better if I actually make the shot when I'm flying through the air up and trying to blow people's noses away. Oh, this guy survived. How did you survive that? That's The shotgun is not nearly as powerful as I was expecting to be. I blew that guy's head away point blank, and he just wore it like a champion. All right, I need to keep that in mind that I don't insta-die all the time. Let's take all of that. I've got plenty of ammo for the shotgun. I would like some more of it, please. I don't even know, like, what the kind of range on the shotgun is. I'm probably still outside trying to figure that out. What are the limitations of my shotgun? We all know how I feel about shotguns. If I'm going to be using this all the time, I need to figure out what's good and bad about it. Oh, that's one of those things with the big teeth. That's a little bit scary. Well, you know what? I'm going to sit over here. Oh, wait, wait for the shot. Wait, wait for his head. Easy. Oh, yep. Boom, oh, right there. Right in the noggin. Put him down. Uh oh. That's, oh, there's lots of them. Oh, there's lots. All right, here we go. Oh, it's like they're guard dogs. Okay, I understand. Okay, well, that seems like a good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You gotta be quick on that on the on the draw for your bullet time stuff. Ow, stop shooting me for a second. I'm carrying behind a rock. Leave me alone for two ticks. I gotta figure out what's going on. Oh, uh, I got shot. Hey, they flanked me. They're too smart. I thought they were going to stay behind and let me figure out what was going on. But instead, they roamed around, came up behind me, and put a bullet in the back of my brain. Which, turns out, for me, kills me pretty quickly. When I did it to them, they didn't give two shits. Oh, I'm back here again. Oh, I forgot. All right, I'm going to have to murder my friends again, get their armor back. Hey, what up? Oh, my God, it's totally not my shit. But guess what? I'm totally going to murder you for it. What up? Hey, how's it going? Boom, one into you. We can't hurry up. Hurry up and reload. Boom, one again. Oh, that time you died on the first try. All right, that's fine with me. No worries. Got any shit for me? I'll take your armor again. Nice, Gary. Attacking members of larger faction will hurt your reputation. Uh, choose your enemies wisely. Oh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea then. I mean, reputation for faction have changed. Uh, if enemies are hostile, okay. All right, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Journal, uh, factions. Is there like a factions thing in here that will tell me if they're going to be hostile to me or not? I, um, botched, completed. I don't know. It's, it's, it's gonna be something here that tells me, right? How do I know if they're gonna hate me? I did just murder one of their captains. Space's choice, reputation decreased. It's alright, I'll bring it up again later. They were trying to find me, it's not even my ship. Edgewater, employment, community, Space's choice. Look at Moonhead over there. Oh, it's, got, it's a striking resemblance to whatever moon. I mean, look at the planet. There's a lot of planets and rings and stuff going on here. I feel like the gravitational waves of all of these space bodies all in the same place are probably throwing some shit off. Whatever it is, like extra moon? I mean, there's like three, I can see four moons in this one shot. Far too many moons for my liking, but what up? Let's do it. I'm gonna, it's like, it's like a weird kind of crossover between like Borderlands and Fallout. Not that that's a bad thing at all. I love both of those series. Mashing them together has apparently made a very beautiful baby. And so I'm, I'm quite enjoying being inside it. Wait, actually, I need to rephrase that sentence. I, just, I take everything back. Boy, they really make you run around to try and get the next kind of quest, don't they? There's like running up elevators and stuff and talking through dialogue boxes and trying to pick the right options without pissing everyone off, which is always fun. But basically now, 
They've told me I can get, uh, have my power regulator for Mr. Hawthorne's ship, which is now my ship, but I have to go and kick out a bunch of people who are living in a botanical lab because they're using the power. And it's, 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 it's a whole thing. But now I have Pavati to come with me. I need to go talk to the deserters in the bio, in the bionics lab, uh, the, the bio lab, whatever it was. Tell them with, that they need to GTFO. How did you, you just, I mean, I thought I was going to close you outside the door because you wouldn't live, but whatever. Tell them they need to leave and then reroute the power, steal the power generation regulator, and then take it off to my ship again. Oh, yeah, it's good fun. It's good fun. Questing is always good. Oh, I'll, uh, oh. You got a minute? Did you see that? I didn't realize I was stealing. Steal? No, no one saw. All right, what's up? You wanted to talk? Well, sure, we can Sorry. talk in the elevator. All Let's right. not go do the job you that we have. Let's here. just, like, have a chit chat Man, in the lobby. You don't want to tag along like me. Oh, just, oh, and not only do you want to talk to me in the lobby, you want to be self-deprecating and like, just bitch to me about it. Oh, come on, we've all got guns! Let's go shoot shit! So that whole little depression session it was just her telling me that she wanted me to go talk to the vicar before I go and shut off the tower to the lab. So I know oh the whole like, the guy upstairs was talking about how shutting off their power will bring uh, the people who live there because they've deserted Sorry, the town be back to town. And this chick's saying as soon as I do that, they're all going to die anyway. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. The temptation. The temptation is so real. Oh, okay. No, let's, let's not do that right now. Let's not go on a murder spree just yet. Botanical lab. Uh, Vicar Max. All right, let's go talk to him. Oh, for God's sake. I'm running all the way around him. Why, why is it so convoluted? Just let me do the thing. I want to go kill some people. Why do I have to go talk about the politics of power generation? Oi, yes, Knackers. Can I turn on people's power or am I going to be sent to hell for it? Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, can I can I leave? It's uh, this is a waste of time. Uh, is that even possible? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? On your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. I wasn't sure. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I want to fire my guns. I've got a brand new shotgun and I want to use it on whatever muppet decides to step out of a bush in front of me. I've been outside. I'm not impressed. I had myself better than a vicar. Uh, why is One that? Oh, come on. I, I'm trying to be polite. To I'm trying to be nice. Like, sure, I'll murder people who try and find me and be the bad guy there. But I'm trying not to piss off the population. You know, I'm trying to make sure that everyone can be happy together. However... My retrieval. All right, space bar skips, which is a good thing. Uh, a handsome sum. Oh, yeah, okay. Look, I, I, you can always lure me in with money. I'll mark where I saw it on the map, assuming you're serious. Uh, I'll look for your book. Uh, what would if it could be better? Uh, come on! All right, is there anyone else you want to run your conscience by before we go out and kill the people on the way and then turn off people's power? Look, old Mate Potato here said it was a good idea to bring everyone together. Survival in groups. People out there by themselves are going to get killed. So unless you have a problem with that, can we go? Please! Ah, oh, for goodness sake, it's so annoying. I regret ever ag uh, agreeing to bring you along. I had the option. I could have said, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, get stuff, mate, and sent her on away. But instead, I decided to be, you know, I thought, like, you know, an extra gun will probably be helpful. Having someone beside me with another rifle might make me survive just a little bit better. But instead, all you've done is bitch and moan. Instead of murdering marauders, you're just murdering my eardrums. Oh, oh, that's bad. Ooh, okay. That, uh, I was like, oh, what's that thing over there? We'll just go and pick it up. Turns out it's a bloody landmine, which is no good for anyone. So let's just go. Just, like, just sort out these. Let's not worry about them too much. Let's not get ourselves killed on some freaking mines out in the middle of nowhere. Why are there mines right next to the settlement anyway? I mean, I, maybe they, they were for something. I don't know what they were for. There's no marauders here. There's just a me. All right, I'll, I, okay, I was about to give up on that one. Do you have anything good for me? Marauder thug. No, nah, nothing good. Oh, there's a box there. Anything in the box? Lots of things in the box. Take all that. All right, no more landmines, please. That was not a good time. Marauder hooligan just cruising through the bushes, but there's a barrel right there. Yep, go stand next to the barrel. Oh. <laughs> oh, he just saw me. He was like, hey, what's that? Then he got blown into the wall. That's fantastic. The range on those uh, on those barrels are far greater than I thought they were going to be. You got anything? Oh, you, you had something fun. What is this? A trip blade. Are you like a big a, a big thing? Are you something I can swing around and slice, slice and dice with? Yep, it seems like it. Okay, I don't know why I would uh, use the uh, watch what call it the the bloody uh, sword if I've got one of those things. What's what's the damage like on this thing? Seventy three or forty? Ah, oh, that's uh, okay. Okay, that makes kind of sense. It's less damage, but you get some more reach. That makes sense to me. Anything else around here I can do? Anything anything fun? Anything around? No, but really, there was a door over here. I, I was supposed to be going over there, but I've been distracted by going on raids. Who would have thought? Oh, 
I didn't even read that. So go to the, the community center. Who would have thought that I'd get distracted by the possibility of loot? Me? Nah, never. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Just want to want to play with me? Here we go. <laughs> didn't didn't really do much about that, did you? I shot you a couple times in the head. Oh, can you uh can you sort that out for me, please? I don't want to go in there again. I got I'm a little bit fucked up. Ow! Ow! Up! Oh, no! No! Stop! Up! Oh, did I dodge him? I hope that counted as a dodge. Maim. Blind, or you can like, choose what you want to do to them. That's fantastic. I choose to blind everyone. I'll come and shoot everyone in the eye. I'll be like the wet bandits. I'll be the blind bandits. Oh, did she just die? She did a backflip. We know what that one means. That means she's dead. Sorry, Knackers. You weren't much help to me anyway. But, I mean, maybe I should have kept you alive. Can I revive you? Can I fix you? Are you are you dead for good? Maybe I need to die too. Maybe I needed her for something. I don't, I'm not quite sure. But I'm happy just to keep shooting them up. Oh, no, nah, she got up again. All right, turns out you were just knocked out. You, are, you, are you okay? Hey, hey. Are you dead? Oh, okay. No, I, I don't want to... We'll talk later. Leave me alone. All right, let's raid all this stuff. I'm a little bit hurt, but that's okay. I'm, I'm actually kind of glad you're alive. I was afraid I'd have to reload in case you were important for something. Turns out you're not though, and you can just come back to life. Wish I had that ability. I don't know what is good and what is a waste of time, so I'm just kind of picking up everything. Stun bat. That looks actually kind of fun. What are, what are you going to give me? Uh, wait. Wait, back and E. I've got I was already doing some skill points. Accept. Yes, cool. Whatever. That would be fine. Uh, inventory. Stun bat. What do you do? 89. Oh, that's what I want. It's 89. So it's better than that one. Oh, and a better plasma. The game just fucking crashed. Seriously? Why did the game crash? No, I was having fun. I was just uh, enjoying and finding new stuff. You do that to me? Oh, that's frustrating. Come on, you can't be doing that. Oh, and it's brought me back outside as well. That's the most recent load game I have. No, I have to do all that again. I had cool stuff. I had plasma rifles and shotguns and weapons and stun buttons. Oh, I don't want to have to do that again. Damn it. Come on, game. Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, it's not that bad, I suppose. I mean, it's only a little bit behind. But it's all like, it was all just right there. I was done. I was leaving. I was about to leave forever and go and do the thing I was supposed to do. Now I have to go and murder a bunch of Jeffreys again. I know I was complaining before. There wasn't nearly enough murder. But make me murder the same thing twice is not how you fix that. All right, this time. Oh, my God. This one goes to try to a bit differently. Let's use this one. Let's try and get a couple of shots going to try and sort this out. Can I blind some Muppets? I, I've jumped, I guess, but it got like that black goop over their eyes, they're blind, which means I don't do it nearly as effective as it did before. Man, this chick's a boss. That stun button is wrecked shop. I quite, I quite enjoy it. Ow, ow, I'm getting ruined though. I'm getting ruined. Okay, I'm hiding here. You, go, do stuff. Protect me, fight, hurt them, hurt them. Save me, save me. Oh God, you got ruined though. Uh-oh, she died. I'm gonna have to go with the slow-mo stuff. Okay, yep, shoot him, shoot him. There you go. Where was your friend? I don't know where your friend was. Whatever, I'll finish you off. No! God, you can't kill me when I'm supersonic, super speedy! Oh, that's so annoying. See, I already did this bit. You make me do it all again. So frustrating. I already cleared this building. All right. Well, I think we've cleaned out the whole joint again. That was the stun button again, I'm pretty sure. Yes, there it is. Stun button can go instead of that one. In fact, let's put it... Let's keep that one there and we'll go... We'll use, like, if we've got the extra reach in case we need it down the track. I'm not sure. I haven't really used the melee much at all yet. Still just trying to figure everything out, which is getting rather difficult when the game keeps refusing to let me finish this bloody room. Grab that one as well. All right. I think, I think we're done here. I think that's the end of it. Can't go with that. That's barred, but I've, or I have been in there before. It went all the way around. All right. We're good. We're good. Let's, uh, let's GTFO. I, so, I mean, that's all I kind of like about these games. You go off and you just go off to do some sort of quest. You, know, you have a mission. You have a job. You get distracted by something shiny, which happens to me pretty regularly. And you get to go and explore and do fun things. That's what... Oh, God. I've come out right in the middle of everyone, though. Uh, can I... All right. Let's just, let's just use the shotgun there. Let's not worry about it too much. Shotgun for days. Shotgun is life. This poor bloke just looks like he's taking a rest. He's, he's, he's had a hard day fighting, marauding, and cannibalizing. And now he's just, he's just taking a kip, you know? I, I can't even put him down for a nap either. All right, buddy. Well, I'm sorry. I tried my best. I tried to make it comfy, but you didn't want a bar of it. What did I get out of that as well? I thought I got some cool stuff. Some more stun buttons. They're all worth 89. Do I get some better armor? Four. We're wearing nine. Four, four, three. Okay, I'm wearing the best stuff I can. But I do have some skill points uh, again that I've put into a million times now. Let's just go like that and like that. That'll do. And accept. All right. Can we, you know, let's go like this. Let's go save game. Manual save. Yep, override that one. There we go. So now, this is permanent now. We're done. We don't have to do that ever again. Thank God. I can continue on my journey. Although at this point, I've been playing the game for like almost two hours. 
It's, um, I mean, I probably already have the episode done. That's kind of what happens, you know? You get distracted by your quest and you don't actually get the job done, but you go and have fun instead. And that's okay with me. Oh, I see you, buddy. I see you. Come stand next to the barrel. Ah, uh, oh, why did you die? Oh, when I woke up a lot of people. How, oh, maybe he did die. There was just more friends. That probably makes a bit more sense. Hide behind the sign. Try and get some damage done. There we go. Go for your headshots, Josh. Try and focus on your headshots. A big white thing. Oh, God. That's what you want to do. Yes, protect me. Slay. Electrocute. Kill. Good job, buddy. I'm glad I brought you on this adventure. Just going to raid this last building because it's a spacer's choice joint, which means there might be something good for me upstairs or something. All the marauders outside are already dead. They all came out to meet me and they're now lying bleeding out in the streets. Armor parts. That's good. I hope I can either like uh, upgrade or repair my stuff later on. I assume I can with the workbench in my ship. Ooh. Purpleberry fizzy tea. I want purpleberry fizzy tea. You know what? I'm so excited about that. Let's just drink it right now. Uh, it'll be in a consumable somewhere. Purpleberry fizzy tea. I want to... I want to drink. God, there was a massive thunder crack just then. There's a storm raging outside right now. I'm busy playing the game, but my whole house just shook from the thunder. I don't know if I came to the microphone or not. I'm not making it up, I promise. Everything just rattled. I'm picking my way into what's probably going to be a loot room, I hope at least. Uh, I mean, I'm at the sun again. Give me some lockpicks back. I spent lockpicks to get in here. I'd like some lockpicks back to make it all worthwhile. Oh, it's all worthwhile. Never mind. You can keep the lockpicks. Uh, I didn't get, I mean, I had that plaza rifle at one stage before the game crashed. Setting 215 DPS as opposed, oh yeah, okay. No more pistols, just assault rifles. Oh yeah, buddy. That's a good time. Definitely worth the lock pick. Grab all that. Anything else in here? So, oh, there are a couple of those. Good, good, good. All right. Well, hey, do you just want to like stand guard for a little bit? I'm going to have a quick little kip. I don't know what it does. Sleep. For, okay, I'm going to sleep for eight hours. Okay, don't want to worry about that then. Never mind. Resting in a bed, relaxing, and moves forward in supernova difficulty. You can only rest in a bed in your ship. All right. Makes sense. Uh, anything else around here? Not really. All right. I, I'm proud of that one. I'm just still disappointed that I never got my um, my uh, plasma rifle back. Hopefully, I'll find another one of, th one of those down the track somewhere. Oh, is that a... That's a Jeffrey. He's sitting next to the thing. Here we go. Ah, oh, damn it. I wish they died when I did that. I want to I want to explode vandals. That's all I want to do. But, the, oh, the assault rifle's a good time. It feels good. A little bit of extra range feels so much better than that stupid flimsy pistol I was rolling with a second ago. All right. I don't know how to get into that building, but that's okay. I probably can't. Maybe I'm just seeing a hole in the wall and all of my raiding trading is saying, hey, you could probably get in there and find good shit. But it turns out you probably can't. So I'm going to have to leave this episode here because I've been going for a little while. This game is fantastic. It's everything I loved about Borderlands, everything I loved about Fallout, all smushed into one, and it's just such a good time, to the point where, I mean, look, I mean, everyone else in the world is going to be playing this and running off to do the mission, and that's fine, but getting distracted along the way is how you know that the game's a good time. If you're, like, running off and you're getting distracted, you end up spending far too long doing something you weren't actually supposed to be doing, you know that you're enjoying it the way that it's supposed to be enjoyed. So I'll have to come back and play some more Outer Worlds in another episode. If you want to get in on the Outer Worlds and enjoy Enjoy just like I am. Please use that referral code. It'll be down in the description down below. Use that. Get the discount. Go and get it. Enjoy it. And have spent the next like 60 hours of gaming of your life playing this one. Because that's what I am going to be doing. I hope this episode does well so I can come back and play some more of it for the channel. I usually do a couple just to see how it goes. And if no one wants to see it, then I won't put it out. But I'll still be playing it behind the scenes anyway. So once again, thank you for the key. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed my, my time playing. I guess I'll have to come back and play some more Outer Worlds in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the pages of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter if I don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.